downtown Spokane. This is KXLY 4 News at 630. Working for you. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nadine Woodward. Spokane Police Department trying to keep burglars from breaking into your home by giving them a chance to go straight. A newly created unit is targeting Spokane's top 20 thieves and working to put them out of business. KXLY 4's Jeff Humphrey working for you tonight with a look at this innovative program. By now you've heard about the revolving door in our jail where crooks committing property crimes are getting arrested over and over again only to be released while awaiting their trial and in the meantime going out and finding even more victims. Well now the police department is trying to put a stop to all of that spinning with a little one-on-one -on -one problem solving. Antonio Moore has been identified by the Spokane Police Department as one of our most prolific offenders. Something really unusual happened in Spokane Superior Court earlier this week when uniformed officers showed up and lobbied the judge for the highest bond possible on 19-year-old Antonio Moore. We are asking that the court hold Antonio Moore in custody until he receives the needed services to correct his actions. Because last month Moore was released on his own recognizance, only to allegedly reoffend four more times, the judge obliged Officer Edie Goen's request and set a $25,000 bond. Moore wasn't going to get out, and the chronic offender team interviewed him in jail the very next day. What their story is, what is keeping them in the life of crime, what, it, what that criminal activity link is, and from there determine maybe what their barriers are. And Police say in Moore's case, his drug addiction is the driving force behind his habit of stealing cars, property, and his victim's identities. Now the chronic offender unit is trying to figure out if Moore needs to be in rehab instead of our jail. And from there we can call someone and connect them to someone that can sign them up for medical insurance, which is a huge factor when they're entering treatment facilities. Police are also working with Spokane's faith-based community to get these convicted felons jobs in housing, driver's license, and legal modes of transportation. Anything that will break their cycle of crime because just locking them up in jail doesn't seem to be working. We want to help, that we want them to get out of this life of crime and be productive members of society and in the end reduce crime overall within the city. However, if those chronic offenders refuse the help that this new program is offering them and continue to commit crime, then those same officers will be right back here in court campaigning for the toughest sentence possible. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4. And we'll keep you posted on this program and also how it works. So stick with KXLY4 News, working for you. Spokane.